Welcome everybody to the Saguaro Miata Club Tech Day at Mike's Place. Our discussion today is going to be about the four different engines that carry us from the original Miata 1990 through 2005. Now I don't have a 2006 engine here yet, but we do have the four different generations of engines from 90 to 2005. The first generation of engine was a 1600 engine, 1600 cc, and it was from 1990 through 1993. So this was their basic engine. The engine was first used by Mazda in their 323 rally car. Some of the unique features about this engine was that it was one of the first engines to uh, actually use uh, oil jets on the pistons. It was a performance engine and initially designed as a performance engine for turbos. So the engine was overbuilt and actually dumbed down when it was put into the Mazda Miatas. It makes a great engine to do performance. All these engines are great engines to do performance to because of their durability. Great engines. This is the 90 through 93. The next generation of Miata, they came out with this car in 94 and it was kind of the American issue. This was an 1800 cc engine and they came out with this in 94. They continued to supply the world with the 1600. Matter of fact, this engine is still available in Europe and Japan. This 1800 was brought out so the car would be more of a highway car here for America. So this is, was geared taller so it had it didn't have, it wasn't as rev happy, had more torque, could carry itself on the freeway a lot better. This engine went through a change in its life, its life cycle. 94, 95 was OBD1, onboard diagnostics one, and then in 96, 97 it became an OBD2, and then it, then what happened was the actual emissions on it changed, so they added, on this one you can see it has a, what they call a crankshaft position sensor, and that was for the OBD2 to run the electronics. The EGR valve is also different, EGR is located back here behind the intake manifold. The initial engine, the 90 through 93 engine, doesn't even have an EGR valve. So they were able to get through emissions, with this little engine, without the EGR valve, where a lot of people used it. There was some technology in the car itself when they first brought out the Mazda Miata. It was one of the first cars to have airbags. Mazda realized if they were going to bring out a small car, it had to be a safe car. So it was one of the first cars to actually have an airbag in 1990. A lot of cars didn't go to airbags until later. Mazda was, has always been light years ahead with all their engineering. So this is the next generation, the 1800. And this cylinder head is used from 94 through 97. And the block is carried all the way through to 2005. So parts on this block can actually be used on this block. Mazda then made a big change in the engine in 19... And 1999. The, the previous engines were hydraulic lifters. This engine, they changed the splaying of the valves and created a better flowing head and put in solid lifters. So the cylinder head, that is the, the performance cylinder head, is only used on the Miatas 1999 and 2000. This engine is the engine they used to used in the Mazda Speed, the 2004-2005 Mazda Speed has the 99 engine in it. So this is the, as time goes on, I believe that the 99-2000 car will be the one that the tuners want to pick up, the one that they want to add performance to. In 2001, the missions got tighter, they wanted more power, so they changed the engine again. And this time, what they did was they made it a variable valve timing engine. So what they did was they actually used hydraulic pressure 
and hydraulic pressure they use is the oil pressure to actually run a, a me mechanism in front that rotates the intake cam and changes the intake cam for more power. And it's all computer controlled. The computer rides over everything. Both the 99 engines, 99-2000 engine and the 2000 up to 2005, both have variable plenum intakes. When you open it up, you can hear at a time when the, this butterfly opens and actually allows you to have more power. So they have a plenum here, an intake runner, and you open this up, you've got another intake runner. Engines are all about breathing, and that's why they have the dual plenum. The breathing part of the engine is why they have the variable cam timing. Once the air starts moving through the engine so fast, they can't pick up more power until they change the cam timing and allow it. So as for stock performance, this is, we, we, well, you can kind of see it, but what it is is we went from a cast iron header to actually a tube header with a collector. You can see it there. So this, this is the desirable stock header for the 99 through 2005. Oh, my two assistants. I'm glad we had some personalities here. We got Norma Jean and my buddy John. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Dave, for introducing us. I want to thank everybody for listening to me for a while.